Hello there, food lovers and gourmets. Thanks for tuning in. As gastronomes today, we are going to immerse ourselves in the culinary world. This topic may not be to the taste of everyone, the worst foods to eat at a restaurant. However, we want you to understand that the information that will be shared here are for your own health and well-being. We wish to see you happy and healthy. A lot of us love dining out, at least once in a while, taking your time to enjoy each new taste and experience new flavors to enrich us nutritionally. But not everything on the menu is a work of genius, and some dishes may make you begin to question your fundamental life choices. Restaurants are known for sweetening their foods. So hold on tight, because in this video, we are about to unveil landmines hidden on menus throughout the restaurant sector. We'll give you 10 foods that are the absolute worst to eat at a restaurant. We'll talk the hows and the whys. We'll also cover the health implications. So, without further ado, let's start this ride. The first on our list, containing a little over 850 calories and 50 grams of fat and 1.7 grams of sodium, is the Bacon Double Cheeseburger. This dinner effectively hits your everyday 20-gram cutoff of saturated fat. Anticipate strolling for almost four hours if you have any desire to work off the calories you'll acquire with this extravagance. To cut the calories, think about veggie patties, turkey burgers, or barbecue chicken rather than hamburger. Or inquire as to whether it tends to be served on a lettuce wrap rather than a bun. Cheesecake Plant Breakfast Burrito This dish contains 2.7 kilocalories, 73 grams of saturated fat, and about 4.6 grams of sodium. That's a large chunk of junk to fill your body system with. Load it up with onions, cheese, fried eggs, bacon, chicken, chorizo, and other ingredients. It's nothing unexpected this burrito made the rundown. Sadly enough, a lot of people still order this in restaurants. Unless you're willing to put in the work to get rid of the body fat, avoid burritos. Chicken Alfredo You might think it's just chicken, but think again. Chicken Alfredo gives off 1.19 kilocalories, 81 grams of fat, and 0.9 grams of sodium. Is this still chicken, you might wonder? Yes, it is. Just that it's been infused with butter, heavy cream, and parmesan, and these are all sources of fats, hence the high fat content. If it's the Italian chicken experience that you want, you can take a healthy alternative for your body, such as the chicken cacciatore with onions, bell peppers, and herbs. Vampire Tacos Tacos are healthy and nice. However, this particular taco is filled with bacon chorizo, grilled cheese, and pork. It also contains some rice and beans. Avoid tacos with lots of grease and unwanted carbs. A reasonable portion of this meal could contain about 3.8 grams of sodium and 27 grams of saturated fat. Pepperoni Stromboli containing over 1.18 kilocalories, 78 grams of fat, and 3.3 grams of sodium. The pepperoni stromboli is a pizza that has been made into a roll and baked. This means that the cheese and meat are present in heavy and calorie-intensive amounts. You'll need a lot of exercise to shed off the excessive calories. A healthy alternative for this would be bruschetta. Salads Yes, you heard that right. Salads are usually healthy food choices, but the salads that are available in most restaurants are filled with creamy dressings, cheese, and a lot of fried content. All of these contribute to create a caloric disaster. A good way to reduce caloric intake with salads is to eat only the dressing or other content used to garnish it. This way, you control the calories and fat that you let into your system. Salads to watch out for are those that are combined with tortillas such as taco salads, cob salads, and crispy chicken salads. Shake Shack Double Smoke Shack Burger Garnished with cherry pepper, bacon, and shake sauce, this particular burger is high on calories and fats. It contains about 55 grams of saturated fats, 2.2 kilocalories, and 3.1 grams of sodium. That is simply way more than the recommended daily requirement. The result is that this meal is a recipe for fattening. In addition, burgers can be unsafe unless cooked at very high temperatures, over 70 degrees Celsius. This is because bacteria is mixed into hamburger meat as it is ground. As a result, not heating the meat well enough could see the growth of organisms such as E. coli. Shark 
Apart from the danger to the marine ecosystem, eating sharks is bad for your health. The FDA is against the consumption of shark because they contain high levels of mercury. Mercury in large amounts can cause mercury poisoning. This manifests as loss of nails, hair, teeth, and blindness, kidney failure, and a host of other effects. However, mercury poisoning is not limited to sharks. You can also get it from other species of fish such as king mackerel or swordfish. So, if you want to protect your health, stay away from ordering sharks in restaurants. Raw Oysters This is totally unsafe. Why would anyone even want to eat anything raw? Well, turns out people do eat raw oysters. It's unsafe because oysters are capable of carrying hepatitis A and a bacteria known as Vibrio vulnificus. This can lead to episodes of vomiting and diarrhea. This is why you should make sure that the oysters you eat are well cooked to ensure that all infectious organisms are killed. Desserts Restaurant desserts such as frozen yogurt or ice cream typically aren't healthy for you. This is because restaurants put in a lot of ingredients in their desserts that make them unhealthy. Such ingredients result in excess of sodium, sugar, calories, and fats, precisely what you want to avoid. Usually these desserts come in large sizes, which means more calories. In addition, desserts can be high in sodium. Don't order desserts in restaurants. Why should you avoid these foods? A majority of these are high in fats and sodium. High fat content could lead to obesity. No one likes to be called fat, right? Excess fat in the diet could increase the amount of a substance called cholesterol in the body. When cholesterol is increased, the body becomes predisposed to heart diseases, cardiovascular diseases, and certain types of cancer. The recommended daily limit of saturated fat consumption for men is 30 grams, while for women it is 20 grams. In addition, these foods contain excess calories. Excess calories are stored in the body as fats. As a result, excess calories can also lead to obesity, which can also cause heart problems and cardiovascular disorders such as arteriosclerosis. This can result in a heart attack or stroke. Again, these foods are high in sodium. The recommended daily intake of sodium is 2.3 grams per day. Excess of this can lead to stroke, heart disease, and high blood pressure. You need to watch out for the fat, caloric, and sodium content of the foods that you order in restaurants. These three are the determinants of how safe or healthy a meal is. We often hear people say, you are what you eat. This simply means that you are made up of the food that you take into your body. Having this in mind, we should watch what we eat in restaurants. Most of the meals that we talked about are high in calories, saturated fats, and sodium. And these in excess amounts can cause harm to the body. So if you want that all-around good health, watch what you eat. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share to your loved ones. You want them to be healthy, right? Till next time, stay healthy, stay safe.